Good morning, West Michigan, and thank you for joining us on this important election results Wednesday. I'm Meredith Terhar. And I'm Jay Plyburn. We're going to check in with Emily Scarlett in just a minute on the governor's race, but we begin here with that breaking news from overnight. Republican Congressman Peter Meyer conceding the third congressional district to challenger John Gibbs. Meyer conceded the race around 1.30 this morning. The Associated Press officially making the call just before 3.30 this morning. 13 on your side's Veronica Ortega is live in Grand Rapids this morning covering the race for us. Veronica, good morning. Good morning, Meredith and Jay. Meyer's decision to concede this morning came as a bit of a surprise as just about 5,000 votes separated to with much more than that that still needs to be counted. But it appears that Gibbs will in fact take the Republican nomination for the third congressional district. Voters ousted Meyer after just one term in office, and this will likely be a sign as a clear show of support for former President Donald Trump. Meyer voted to impeach Trump after the January 6th insurrection, leading to criticism from members of his own party and President Trump's endorsement of Gibbs. We spoke with Gibbs shortly after Meyer conceded. He said he has already heard from the former president. So after we got the good news and uh, the race was called. Uh, we did get a call from President Trump, who was, uh, uh, just wanted to congratulate me on the good work we did in the race. I thank him uh, for his, uh, his support throughout this process, and uh, he was very excited and uh, said, get back to work hard uh, real soon because it's uh, going to be tough going into November, which we, we know that, and uh, we're going to be ready for it, so I think it'll be a, a, a good race. As for Meyer, he released a statement overnight after conceding the election, saying in part, I believe our community and our values are worth fighting for, though this was not the outcome we had hoped for. I will continue to do everything possible to move the Republican Party, West Michigan, and our country in a positive direction. Gibbs will be taking on the Democratic challenger, Hillary Skolton, in the November election. In Jay Meredith. All right, Veronica, thank you.